Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about one of the very important Git interview question. And question is here, what are the advantages of using Git? So let's try to understand few uh, most advantageous uh, feature of Git, right? So first thing, data redundancy and data replication is possible. Uh, as you know, uh, Git is basically a distributed uh, SCM tool, right? So when I say SCM tool, means source code management tool. Uh, when you use git then uh, you can reach the data redundancy right you can create a, a basically a master branch right and uh, out of master you can create a develop branch and at it at a one time at a one time many developer can work on the single uh, branch and once they uh, done with the changes they can uh, basically merge those changes into the master branch so here basically you can see that reduces the data redundancy when we talk about the data replication is possible then uh, here what i would like to say is first of all you create the master branch and out of master branch you can create the develop branch right so here data replication is also possible and if you are working on some uh, new feature then out of develop branch you can create a feature branch you can complete your feature and uh, again you can merge or rebase uh, your uh, branch with a develop branch right so here you can see data replication is also very much possible now it is highly available service why i am telling you it is highly available service because whatever code we push on the github.com using git those code is very highly available because those code is uh, those code those code is uh, available on uh, basically a uh, cloud and that can be accessed from anywhere and from any machine only you need a internet connection right so that's why this is highly available service right now for one repository, you can have only one directory of Git. So here, basically, Git uh, maintains a dot Git directory for every project, right? So uh, if you uh, clone one repository, then you will have one dot Git directory in that repository. If you clone some other repository, then uh, then uh, that uh, repository has a different or private dot Git directory, right? And that dot Git directory basically maintains all the metadata related to your uh, basically whatever you do the check-in or whatever things you are going to push on the uh, basically remote branch now the network performance and disk utilizations are excellent so here i would like to explain this key point uh, very important key points uh, when we talk about the network performance right so what happened when we clone repository from the github right using git then we do our changes and we keep adding those changes into the staging area right so for that we have a command git add command and we keep adding our changes in the uh, basically staging area once we decide now i need to commit my changes then we use git commit command and we specify the uh, commit message then those changes is going to add uh, in local repository in one sort right and once we decided to push these changes into the basically remote repository then we push those co code so that that will be reflected into the uh, remote repository and publicly that will be available so here you can see there is network performance that improves right we we are not forcing to basically uh, push all single change every time right so we make bunch of things uh, available in the local repository and then we push into one go right and that's basically increase network performance uh, and disk utilization are excellent also because uh, uh, basically in every repository we have a dot git directory that maintains the all the metadata related to your changes right so that also basically uh, the disk utilizations are very excellent in that case right now next advantage it is very easy to collaborate on any project so uh, git is uh, basically one of the distributed scm tool where uh, in single project uh, pe many people can work together and they can uh, clone the repository on their local machine they can do the change right and they submit those change uh, to the to their branch and they can raise the pull request so that project owner can owner can review or changes and they can decide whether you need to do some more modifications and uh, or they if they decide there is some more uh, modification or data in nature, then they can provide you the comment back and you need to again do the uh, correction as per the review comments if they are okay with the your changes that they can uh, prove your pull request and further even merge your branch to the specific branch right 
so here uh, uh, collaboration on, on any project is very easy right now last but not the least you can work on any sort of projects within the git so within the git you may have a lot of repository right and you can work on the any number of repository at a time only thing is that you need to basically just clone that repository on your local machine right so at a time if you would like to work on the many number of projects then uh, every repository or every project you have to clone on your local machine and uh, uh, and uh, at a time you can work on the different uh, basically repository only thing is that you need to switch on that repository and you can work right so this is also one of the very very uh, advantageous feature you can work on any sort of project within the kit so these are the basically advantages of using kit i hope you understood guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial